Hello everyone and welcome to Black Star Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here to do with musicteacher.com. And in this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. This week, we're going to talk about the brand new Black Star Department 10 dual drive pedal. This week, I've put together a very small pedal board centered around the dual drive. But the whole idea behind this is using just this instead of an amp. So if you're a musician who needs to travel light, in this video, we're going to talk about some little tips you can use to take your dual drive with you as your entire guitar rig. So you could plug this entire board straight into a PA system and not need a live amp on stage. So the whole idea behind this rig is that it's something that's very portable, very lightweight, and very, very flexible. So if you're a gigging musician and you need to travel light, this is the type of rig you could build around your Department 10, and you could take this anywhere with you. So I've built a really simple rig based around just four pedals, as you can see. So the Department 10 is acting as my amplifier. So we've got two channels. I've got one side set up for the clean channel and one side set up for a crunch. This is sharing the three band EQ and the ISF. What I'm also doing is I'm using the XLR output on the rear of the unit to go straight into a mixing desk or PA system live. For the purpose of the video today, that XLR out is going to be going straight into my audio interface. So this is acting as my guitar amp. Then I've got two pedals here in the loop. So the send and receive on the back of the unit, these two pedals are situated in that loop. Typically on a real amp, you would put your modulation and your time-based effects in the loop. So that's what I've done here. So we've got the Walrus Audio R1, which is a reverb, and the Boss MD200, which is a multi-modulation pedal. You could also put a delay in this part if you want as well. And then going into the front of the pedal via the input, I've got the analog man king of tone just to give me some additional gain shaping options with two different overdrive sounds there as well. So all in all, I've got a clean channel with a drive channel, two additional gain stages at the front, a multi-modulation pedal with four presets, and a reverb pedal that I can also add different presets onto as well. All of this fits into a pedal board that's super compact, super portable for me. I'm using the XLR out of the Department 10 and my cab sound is coming from the built-in cab that I'm using via cab rig. You can actually have three different cabinets assigned in here as well. So if you wanted different cabinets for different purposes, you can preset three of them to the pedal, but I'm just using one for the purpose of this video. So now I'm going to talk you through some of the tones that you can get from this really portable rig. As I mentioned, I've been gig testing this, so I've been using the dual drive straight into the PA system in the way that I'm using it in this video. And the whole band are on in your monitors. So there's no backline on stage. All of my amp tones that I've used live recently have come from the dual drive. So I've set this up pretty neutral. I've got the EQ, as you can see here, with the bass straight up at 12 o'clock, the mid pulled back a little bit, and the treble pumped up just a little bit. Sometimes I'll roll the ISF down a little bit more as well. I've got my first channel set up as my clean tone. The second channel is my crunch channel. Then on top of that, I can now use the different pedals in the chain to create different textures. One thing I personally like to do is stack gain to get different sounds. So for a lot of my gig, I may run on the clean side of the Department 10 and use the King of Tone or a different drive pedal to get different drive textures. So this particular King of Tone has the high gain mod on this side. So this is my low gain drive. This is my slightly higher gain drive. And then I can stack the two together on the clean channel or the drive channel of the Department 10 to get different results. So here's how it sounds when I put the low gain side into the clean channel. And then the high gain side. And then both. So you can see there that a combination of either side or both together into the clean side of the Department 10 gives me three very different gain sounds. 
Now I can actually repeat the same logic on the drive channel. And that can give me a ton of different gain stacking options. So I've got the two different channels here, the clean and the drive, and two different gain stages here that I can use individually or stacked. So just by adding one dual sided overdrive pedal in front of the department 10 dual drive, I've now got six different levels of gain I can use from clean right up to super saturated. Now, obviously you can get a lot more gain out of other pedals. The King of Tone is a relatively low gain overdrive. If you put something very high gain here, you could obviously push even more gain into the dual drive. Then we've also got this section in the middle, which is running via the loop. So I've got this pedal here, the Boss MD200, which is a multi-modulation effect set up with four different presets that I might use through a gig. Now I may use these on the clean channel or the overdrive channel. So I've got in the first bank, a tremolo. And then I can actually bank through them with a pedal. So that's actually my rotary speaker sound. This is one that I would use a lot with drive or clean. So I can actually go between a fast and a slow setting. This is also the type of effect that stacks really well into the drive side. I also like to keep a chorus built in at all times because you never know when you're going to need a chorus sound on a gig. And I'm a big fan of pairing chorus with drive sounds for some really cool 80s guitar tone. And the final modulation tone that I've got programmed in is a Univibe style tone. Having the effects loop built into the Department 10 gives you a huge amount of flexibility with the sort of things you can run into this just like a real amp. So the way this would work is very similar to that of a guitar amplifier. The effects loop is after the preamp 
So it's just like running into a power stage of a real guitar amp where you bypass the preamp section with your time-based and modulation effects, go straight to the power section. I can also add a reverb. I could even add delay here if I wanted to. The R1 is going to give me some additional ambience. I do have some ambience preset in cab rig, but this is going to give me a bunch more if I need it. So I've shown you just a few very simple combinations there of what I use the Department 10 dual drive for in a gig situation. So the whole point of this video is to highlight the fact that you can build an incredibly simple rig around your dual drive. You don't need to add much to turn this into a full gigging solution. As I'm doing right here, I've got a single overdrive pedal with two different gain stages, a multi-modulation effect, a reverb pedal, which does have a couple of different presets if I need them, and my dual drive. The overdrive is going into the front of the dual drive, and then these two pedals are going via the loop. So it's working just like a real amp. Everything is going out of the XLR on the back, straight into my interface, but live, that would go straight into a PA system with cab rig giving you your cabinet simulation. So there you go, now you can go away and turn your own Department 10 pedals into a fully functioning live gigging setup. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite pedals are to pair with your dual drive when using it as a guitar amp preamp style pedal straight into a PA system. It's a great solution to gig light without having to take a ton of gear with you. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys are pairing with your Department 10. And don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more free videos just like this. If you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please check out musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the UK waiting to help you guys out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.